opportunities. And there, is, I, there isn't a company I know of that isn't looking on how they can mine some of this data and, and be more proactive. You know, I, I called it a couple of years ago this data mining renaissance. And really, for me, what it's about is that the tools for collecting, storing, analyzing, and processing intelligence or information out of that data, you know, there's a whole open source uh, world of software that can get you the same caliber or the same type of thing that just a few years ago would have been a multi-million dollar software and hardware expenditure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, and I, also the, the, that whole data mining business intelligence was this fenced out, you know, in the corner, deep organization, almost like the CIA within companies. Right, right? and like, now now you look at, for example, the exa uh, what we saw from the, uh, I think it was Zane Adams from Microsoft and the Microsoft data marketplace, yeah. where he's saying, I want to make access to publicly available data mar mart packages as easy as going into the grocery store and buying a six pack of soda. And so what they've done is, and you know, we also hear about Amazon making these data sets generally available. Of course, the US government has oodles of data that they're making available. So I think the, the interesting thing that we're going to see is people who are taking some of this data that is readily available or that is available uh, for a relatively low amount of money and really creating something that's valuable uh, for consumers, for businesses, for governments, where there's, there's value that people are going to start paying for it. So it might be free data and the tools and the things to put this analysis together might be low cost, but you know the human effort and the uh, intelligence required to make that valuable I think is going to be a big opportunity for people. What do you think the biggest um thing that you've seen for this data revolution? I mean, is there like um, a tipping point in your mind where you say, yeah, I mean, I know you've had a good vision, I mean, you know, you're an insider, so you see some things early, uh, as all we all do, um, but is there one thing that caught you by surprise, you're saying, that is killer, this is a done deal, mm. this, is a, this is out of the, out of, geez, yeah, out of the bottle. Yeah, that's a great question. I don't know if there's one thing, I, I mean, you sort of say, like, why is, it, why is it so hot right now? Why is big data so hot, and why wasn't it so hot you know, three or four years ago. And when I ask myself that question, you know, I think one thing is we're, we're using more of the internet, so every click on the internet is trackable. So the more we get involved with uh, e-commerce on the internet or whatever we do, the travel, you know, all those percentages of business conducted on the internet is increasing. And that leads to clicks and click streams and measurable data that we can take action on. Mobile phones, I mean, every thing that you do on your mobile phone is essentially can be you know tracked or clicked or recorded. So I think just the prevalence of internet activity from a business perspective is one big thing. And then I think you couple that with the low cost hardware, the ability to do things like Hadoop, an open source distributed uh, you know, analytics platform. So to me, those are the two big things, both the, the, the fact that we have all this traffic and then the fact that we can have the tools and the software to make some sense of it.